Welcome to News Bites with a Difference. Today we can all pray together concerning North Korea. Monday, May 25th, North Korea says it has staged a successful underground nuclear test, prompting international condemnation. The state says it was more powerful than their previous one in October 2006. U.S. President Barack Obama described the North Korean action as a threat to international peace. Crisis talks were being held in South Korea. An emergency session of the U.N. Security Council is being convened by Russia. World Affairs correspondent David Lyons says North Korea appears to have moved from a posture of negotiation to confrontation over the nuclear issue. At least three missile tests accompanied Monday's nuclear test. South Korean reports say North Korea has fired two more missiles hours after the UN Security Council unanimously condemned its nuclear test. The communist state fired two short-range missiles off an East Coast base. As these missiles are fired following North Korea's nuclear test, people in neighboring China, Japan, and South Korea expressed their dismay and concern at the state's actions. The U.S. thinks that this is a grave violation of international law and a threat to regional and international peace and security. Now, together, let you and I pray because God honors corporate prayer. So where two are gathered together, two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, He is with here with us. And He's our God who answers the cries of our heart. Let's pray together. Father God, we come in Jesus' name. And in Jesus' name we ask you, Father, to intervene in this nuclear, potential nuclear crisis in North Korea. Father, we ask you to guide the talks in Russia, guide the discussions in South Korea, guide the Japanese in their negotiations, Father, may this confrontation and potential problem lead to a way for you to get your glory through bringing peace to this situation. North Korea has joined the nuclear community and we pray that you move upon the leadership to create in them a desire for community and justice and freedom from oppression for all. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me for News with a Difference. As you lift these news bites to God in your private prayer time, may Holy Spirit lead you in detail. And may Father God bless you. We produce these news bites and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow in cyberspace with news.